if Shaniqua try that with me, I'm gonna beat that. So in AKA Mr. Beast was making edgy content at the time. Not only do black people not have rights in Roblox, but neither do women. Like, when did Roblox get so realistic? Tommy and MT posted a video. <laughs> w Tommy. Worst errors of the internet. Worst error of the internet, in my opinion, was the um Lil Pump. Uh it was the Instagram era. The Instagram era. Boom Gang, Lil Pump, uh Daniel Bavroli. Who was the little Lil Vicky, girl Lil name? Tay. Yeah, Lil Tay. It was that era. That uh, was the Supreme one. Patty. It was it was that that yeah, that was yeah. the worst era for me. Worst era. And then like my bunk cap too. Easily. Best era of SoundCloud era. That's just me. Talk to me. Ah, uh, the internet. Our lives ever since the inception of the internet have changed to degrees that haven't been seen in the billions of years on Earth. It's crazy to me how comedy on the internet from 15 years ago went from videos like this. I'm just probably playing your video. <laughs> it's crazy because these are grown ass men now. To videos like this now. <laughs> like what the f even happened between these years? Which is what gave me the idea to look back at these internet errors because people don't realize how fast we move on in the internet. Let's first start off with one of the most universally hated errors on the internet. You honestly couldn't pay me any amount to go back and live in this time. I don't even think it would be worth it. And that is the Instagram yeah, clout yeah, error. I already know, oh, Vicky. Yeah. This era brought me closer to just calling it quits altogether. The Instagram clout era was an crazy? internet era in time, which pretty much consisted of this. People that were annoying as shit were being annoying as shit and becoming famous for being annoying as shit. Oh, that sums that it up. Come on, I want to hear the clapping bro. entourage. We can pretty much just end this segment right here. On the real, the Instagram clout era was a oh, time- Oh, long neck too. What happened to long neck, bro? And wide long, neck. Yeah, and wide neck. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was, bro, always like, I don't know. He disgusted me. I'm not gonna lose you. I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. Like, yeah. He actually, like, disgusted me. I just had to know where they were finding these people. I don't know. BFG, thank you for the gift of the Fortnite. Fortnite appreciates it. I'm sure they do. Um, But, nah, that boy, uh, Long Neck, like, actually, like, disgusted me. I'm not gonna lose you. Between 2016 and 2019, yeah. where a group of random individuals would captivate the people of the world by doing shocking things in front of a camera, then posting it on Instagram, where yeah. people would watch and share with their friends, laughing at how stupid it was. And did you hear how I said laughing at how stupid it was? People weren't laughing with them; they were laughing at them. They kind of made themselves the punching bag of the internet. It was also kind of like jackass, except way worse and not funny. Our main contenders in this category include people like Lil Tay, Bad Baby, Whoa Vicky. Boonk, Supreme Patty, Lil Pump, and others. And I like to say others because I don't even remember half the names of these motherfuckers anymore. There was a uh, bunch of these people that would use their odd looks as a uh, gag. And, and that's the... What the fuck? That nigga look like a Barack Obama bobblehead. Does this... What? I've never seen this person before. Who is this? Barack <laughs> Obama bobblehead is crazy. Is this a, this a real person? Okay, it's getting fucking hot all they offer and they would always end up in each other oh the nigga with the eyes bro the nigga with the, yeah, the no, holy god no i'm not gonna lie anytime i seen the video of that nigga i used to get scared i thought his shit videos was for some reason oh it was like god. this giant circle oh of clout demons siphoning from each other the most annoying i would say out of all these people has got to be boonk low vicky and low pump boonk yeah. quite literally got famous for going into stores and um low vicky was probably the worst Lil Tay was pretty bad too, but you know the whole little situation where World Vic was actually just racist. That, like that was whole Boonk stole. Lil Pump was <laughs> doing dumb shit religiously. All of them were doing dumb shit religiously, but Lil Pump was actually a rapper. He was doing dumb shit religiously, and he was ass and getting paid for being ass. Yeah. And um, World Vicky was just racist. That's all World Vicky was actually <laughs> just racist. Been f robbing them. I don't care what y'all hey, say. On, to just, this go day. Back, go back. Go back. Famous for going into stores and. And pause. This is live footage of Blue Rye at the subway oh ordering God, uh, bro. 12 yeah, macadamia like, cookies shit, from bro, the subway. Nigga. That what is was like four years ago, nigga. Have you, there was a time. When have you ever seen somebody go to subway and order nothing but 12 macadamia cookies? The cookies That's it. That was the whole order. The cookies were the cookies were good. The cookies were good. Why well, I, I got this bitch ass nigga? You snitching on, on niggas like wanting to get cookies, bro. Like 
robbing them! I don't care what y'all say. To, to this day, day, there is no social media influencer who gave zero f like he did. Like when he went into no, a Dunkin' fact, Donuts man. store and just yanked the rack of donuts with Everybody the bottom of his bro. So when really he went into it. a store and recorded himself stealing a diamond watch. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these stores had like fucking. Like, I don't know no how, security, no, like, like, nobody stopped this nigga, bro. He got arrested a couple times, but, like, the nigga stole a Rolex, my nigga. I don't know how he didn't go to jail. Last, when he recorded himself stealing a whole ass dog. Mm, she's so cute. She bro, cute. the crackhead. How much you want for it? Two. Two? Two thousand. Two thousand. What type of dog is it? Two thousand? Oh shit, fuck this shit. Hey, yo, 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 yo. It's not bro, he probably could have joined the track team. Bro was out running everybody though. Like you gotta like bro out ran with a video of the nigga like slid under some clothes and shit like it was mission impossible. Bro, the nigga boom was fast as fuck. I'm not gonna he, he needed to sign a track team deal. He would have been cool, like good. I ain't gonna cap. Not talked about enough how Boonk ruined a generation of kids by making them think stealing is a way to get famous and posting. Everybody was saying Boonk gang. Well, Vicky got famous for <laughs> pretending to be black. Yeah, the stuff Will Vicky was doing in this era would definitely not slide in the 2020s. <laughs> and he, married she was Will out Vicky. here fighting like together. a Spartan warrior to prove she was black. When the evidence was clearer than the sky, bitch didn't have a drop of melanin within her parents. Her presence was always weird to me in this era because you could tell she was trying to imitate the stereotypical black girl. Before y'all say I'm exaggerating either, just look at some of these clips right here. You can't say I'm exaggerating. Next, you gotta get the walk. I'm telling all y'all white folks right now, y'all need to control y'all badass kids. Funny thing is, she doesn't even talk like that, like in real life. She was just like. Cause maybe Jenny can get away with cussing y'all niggas out. But I'm telling you, if Shanique would try that shit with me, I'm gonna beat that whole ass. I don't give a fuck if you is my blood. <sighs> I hope I. I'm telling y'all, she was just dead ass racist. And let's not talk about let's not talk about the rest of this track. Don't no, no talk about that. I can't even. If Tommy even thinks about playing that, skip that. Cause the whole shit is just actually racist. That's my point. She also dropped this classic diss oh track on Rice Scum, which God. I won't be playing. Number thank one, because you, of you, copyright, you, obviously. And number two, because just that's watch just it and you'll see why I can't put it on this video. And last is the king of this no brain cell era, Lil Pump. I think Lil Pump was a true pioneer in all of the dog shittery that happened at the time. He really had all the new rappers coming into the industry questioning if they had to get face tats and colored dreads to make it. And that SoundCloud era where, um,. X and all them, and it was coming in. That was fire. Lil Pump was a part of that era too, but I feel like once Lil Pump came onto the scene, like there started to be like trash ass rappers that used to pop up. Like, <laughs> y'all yeah, yeah, no remember that nigga Kid Boo? There was that nigga Kid Boo. Oh, like, there was a whole goodness. bunch of like Lil Pump clones that appeared, and it was more ass than him. My nigga, I don't know how. To his credit, it happened for a while. There's a group of discarded SoundCloud rappers out there with permanent face tats I know they regret now. Hope Lil Xan's doing good. His Instagram posts were also annoying. He's the one that inspired these kids to be obsessed with flexing. Thinking their worth is nothing without a Supreme t-shirt or a Gucci hoodie or Literally, diamond bro. chain. Can't take a nigga ser serious who listen to Lil Pump in 2020. Is that T-Pain? Uh, yeah, that's T-Pain. See, I was right. He also had all the little kids saying Gucci Gang for that year, I which that was shit. beyond painful. I'm so glad we are done with that. I still can't believe the song has 1.1 billion Damn. views. Music must have been in a disparaging I drought did. for something new. So overall, this is probably the one era on this list where I see no good came from it at all. There's so much more in these people, but this is about enough I can endure talking about it. And oh, I highly right, recommend man. checking out mm -hmm. Patrick CC's video that fully goes in depth on it. The last person I've ever seen survive this is Drewski, but even then, I don't know if that really counts. I don't think Drewski Drewski really counts. Drewski was at like the end of like he came at the end. He was like actually funny. He wasn't like a clout chaser like all the rest of these things. He was just actually a uh, comedian. Yeah, he just happened to be on Instagram. He was a comedian. Yeah, he wasn't yeah, like a clout chaser. Doing the same thing. <laughs> he kind of came into that era when it was ending, and he's just a naturally funny guy. I can't really say the rest for. Whatever the f*** these things are. Next, we got another era that is also linked to ruining a generation of kids. AKA the 2016 YouTube mm, edgy era. This is where most of y'all niggas is. Well, I don't know if y'all grew up on, on this, but some of y'all be, be acting like it's still 2016. But nigga like me, I was definitely watching Leafy. I was definitely watching iDubbbz. I was definitely watching uh, uh Filthy Frank. You know what I'm saying? These niggas are saying crazy shit. You, you, you can't get away with saying shit like this now. 
I'm like, like on YouTube, they'll ban you if you like act like this. Now, I've talked about this era many, many times on this channel, and there's no way I couldn't include it. But it's weird to me because I have a love and hate relationship with this era. The love side is that a lot of people, including me, grew up on this era and have some fond memories of this time. I've been personally inspired by creators from that time. But if you said the N word on Twitter, I'm not gonna hold you. That is probably like his 50th time saying it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, literally the least of your problems. Like, I, I guarantee, bro. Like, when I seen that, I wasn't even surprised, bro. To this day. Shit, even Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast was making edgy content at the time. Not only do black people not have rights in Roblox, but neither do women. Like, when did Roblox get so realistic? And although your favorite creators now may look like super that. amazing, family friendly, ethical people who could never even hurt a fly, I believe that deep down inside them, there's a little of that era still lingering that they can't show or they'll get canceled and packed off platforms. I know for a fact a lot of the biggest YouTubers now were definitely watching back then. Then again, I don't even blame them because there's a reason I put it on this list. You had the most wildest, insane, out of pocket things getting consumed by the masses and having them think it's just normal. It was typical for a commentary channel in 2016 to 2018 <clears throat> leafy is here to bully random kids and have millions yeah. of people bully that kid to i know niggas dick ride 2016 like crazy because of the cypher the soundcloud era like there's a lot of good things 2016 niggas was in like high school and shit like life was really good in 2016 but there is like to act, niggas act like 2016 could do no wrong and the year was just perfect my nigga like Nigga was just dead ass bullying kids, bro. Like dead ass just bullying people with disabilities, kids, like just anybody. I'm not gonna cap to you, like you know what I'm saying? Like as a, together. You know, Filthy Frank was dropping kid. videos on how he wanted to smash I Nickelodeon girls. I dubs making kids think it's normal to call people every type of slur in the book in the name of comedy. YouTube was truly in its finale for how far That's edginess could be pushed yeah. before they had to make a change. I wasn't joking when I say this ruined a generation of kids because I was a part of it. I swear I thought it was normal for people to call me certain names when it definitely was not because of this era. And of course my immature dumbass took some of the lingo straight out of these videos and ripped it out to people. Okay, so me, where that video come from, my nigga? You light skin shirtless men dancing, shaking their like on game voice chats. This is my apology to those who had to witness. It honestly dawns on me now how normalized it was when you had the biggest creator on the platform just straight up drop the unedited full no context n-word bomb on a public mm -hmm. live stream. That nigga PewDiePie. Yo, y'all had to be here for this. Yo, the bridge shit that with PewDiePie, this is an internet infamy, my nigga. Niggas get scared of the bridge, bro. Like, did they ever get to the part uh, when they were streaming his videos back to back? I don't and know. Everybody it, was waiting for the bridge. Bro, I, I don't know if, if, if that live stream got to the bridge part. Let me know. But yo, this joy, what a fucking <laughs> yo! Oh my god, this shit was hilarious. My boy, who's you? Straight up, dropped the unedited, full, no context word bomb on a public live stream i still don't know what was going through this man's head but my only thought is the time period it was just so casual for anyone to say that word and many others with zero consequences on youtube as a matter of fact it was encouraged by their fans to say the words which made it even worse and now a majority of them have changed for the better but this time will never be forgotten i'm gonna be telling my Alex. grandkids Alex. stories of it like i'm a veteran who fought in vietnam i'm also seeing a lot more people nowadays you saying they want the, the old mr Alex. nobody Knows his, nobody knows the story behind Alex. He's it's just, just like your uh, that one picture of your face just lost in time. Yeah, lost media. East or old KSI or old I Dubs or old PewDiePie talking about. <laughs> I miss them back when they weren't scared and said what was on their mind. What? Like when iDubbbz was dropping the full N-word bomb and saying that grape is good as a joke? The PewDiePie bridge incident? Any of Filthy Frank's old songs? That stuff slides right on when you're younger, but they're full grown-ass men now. You expect them to be making these type of jokes now? Nah, they're at the age where they need to start having kids before it's too late. Now, the next era I'm gonna talk about was one that was actually bullied by the 2016 YouTube era. The Musical.ly era. Okay, to be fair, the music gear was dead ass dog shit. Like, at least the the other two had some redeemable factors about them. There was nothing redeemable at all about them. Like, I can't even think of a single thing that was. I mean, musically made TikTok, so I guess. But like, that's also not a good thing. But technically, that technically is why I'm here. So technically, like, musically was dog shit. Musically, as at by itself, the air was dog shit. I'm not gonna cap to you. I think yeah, Musical.ly was ridiculous. actually the first platform to have Just kids become really truly camera. famous for the no reason. Before this, it was adult celebrities that this would that happen to, like the Kardashians. But it never really happened to kids like that. Dad was on the bed, and then he was and doing he, a yeah, 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 Yes, bro. 
Plus their parents were already famous or they were a famous actor. The main contenders in this Jacob category Satorius. were Jacob Satorius, Baby Ariel, Zola Verne, Malu Trevejo, Daniel Cohn, etc. And their rise Malu to fame was like- I didn't know that. Hey Malu. Hey, Malu. Hey, for my Jacob Batty B is my nigga. Jacob stole his whole flow. Where Matty B at, nigga? Nowhere, nigga. No other shedding their blood, I'd rather sweat, all, and tears. I'd rather listen to Soul Train, spent you know you're crafting lying. their work to perfection. Nah, no, I'm just with you. Can you, train, you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Musically was the time where people would record themselves lip syncing to songs and dancing. Unlike TikTok, though, there was no coordination in 99% of these dances. Like, what is bro doing right here? What, what, what is happening? So it ended up being people just shaking the camera as a replacement to this and we ended up with some of the most <laughs> atrocious content to ever hit social media platforms i think a lot of people forget that musically was a reason why cringe comps even became a popular thing there was hundreds of these cringe comps posted daily on the newest things that people could laugh at for musically and a lot of it was kids which i do kind of feel bad about now it's five years later after musically has ended and i just know that that digital footprint hidden hard for some of them kids Literally i'm making not. the call right now we're gonna have a president get elected in 30 years who posted cringe musicallys when he was 12. that'll be the true point of america's break i can't imagine any country could take a president serious when he was recording himself lip syncing to chris brown at 12. the person the internet hated to the max from this era was jacob satorius yeah. to this day there are multiple cringe comps on jacob satorius still up and every single comp commentary youtuber was mm. going at this man's <laughs> videos which look okay i, I didn't really like jacob satorius either but i damn near felt bad for the guy i mean bro was 13 years old and getting blasted on commentary videos every day Literally, i have videos bro. from when i was 13 Nigga, on leafy power all them niggas would make at least 10 they have like if i you go on power cynical channel right now or leafy channel that shit don't don't exist no more leafy channel's gone but if you went on a channel at the time them niggas had like 10 videos just on that nigga rice gum 2 had like 20 videos on that nigga bro like that bro was literally like getting Public everything never number one publicly shamed in front of everybody bro on this channel and just know y'all will never see them in the light of day a lot of these musically stars also fail to transfer to tiktok which is critical for staying alive in this attention internet world it's almost kind of sad to look at it like jacob satorius having 11.5 million followers on instagram and getting 10,000 likes per post <laughs> shows it and we can now yeah. confirm the era of these Dash. pseudo stars Insane is officially ratios, dead literally. but another era that links directly to this one took happened. over the filth that musically stars left behind oh, the TikTok tock dance era mm. now i was deciding whether i wanted to include this or not yes, because it there. matches the exact same description as the musically era but it does have some exceptions to it the TikTok dance era actually included more movement in the dances like using your hands throwing it back and really just any part of your body that can make a movement the main All contenders right. here GNBBG. were Charlie and Dixie. I got to work tomorrow. Sorry for having an ego moment when I donated them subs. Also, in the new VIP. Yeah, thank you for all the subs today. Appreciate you coming. We appreciate your presence. Have a great rest of your night, man. Emilio, Addison Ray, Bryce Hall, Josh Richards, Lopez Brothers, etc. And just like the musical Renegade, era, Renegade. it was a group of teens and young one? adults making videos together, which yeah, included wow, dancing, lip syncing, and viral sounds. I personally think it was more popular than the musical era because they capitalized on drama Renegade, 10 wait, times no. more. I mean, we can't forget about the disaster known as the hype house which if you don't know because let's be realistic real quick no one over the age of 20 years old even knows what i don't even think that shit exists anymore my nigga the hype house was just a whole bunch of like 98 percent of them niggas well i say 95 95 percent of them niggas was talentless i'm not gonna hold you 95 percent of them niggas was literally talentless i'm not gonna cap to you bro they just were happened to be in the area and knew how to coordinate dances on tiktok my nigga that was it what this is was a house consisting of the biggest tiktokers at the time to record tiktoks in. and all of the social media blogs would eat up any drama produced from this garbage dump i was just sitting there thinking to myself every time i saw one of these dumb stories from one of these drama blogs huh i really don't care to this day i still don't know the demographic that was eating up this content but it was working we can use the hollywood fixes channel as proof i like to compare this channel to tmz except more rundown more elusive more invasive and i hate the guy's voice he was uploading videos daily of these tiktokers nearly stalking them everywhere they and by the way as a grown man why are you working for tmz and or these other shit stalking celebrities and and especially this nigga stalking fucking basically children 
weird ass nigga, grown ass man. Nigga, nigga got paid to you, do something bro, that can get you in prison. Nigga, literally, bro, getting paid to stalk is actually insane. I'm not cap. That's why I never have respect for these these TMZ like these type of archetypes. People, they would literally stalk you out until you walk out, and then try to ask you some fucking random ass questions that about to get you canceled or in trouble. It's crazy. They go. Each of them have millions of views as well, which shows there was some audience for it. And that's why I think Netflix got the idea to make the Hype House show. What were they thinking? I've never seen a Netflix show more shit on by the masses than this one. I fully blame Netflix too, because you really thought a group of teens who got famous for doing five second dances and lip syncing would be able to act. And you know this show is bad when it's rated worse than cuties out of all things. How the f that even well, possible? You know, Sneeko clapping yeah. his hands right now. Sneeko happy as hell right now, nigga. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. You can't recover from a wound like this. Just bleed out at that point. This era is pretty much dried up now, and the last time I've even heard of one of these people was when Charlie D'Amelio got passed by Kabi Lame to become the most followed TikToker. Next is a shorter era, but I just want to cover it a little bit. The World Star era. World Star! Hey, beat his ass! Beat his ass! Yeah. Beat his ass! Oh my god! Yo! Somebody is about to start fighting, and you just hear somebody yell. World, world Star, Star, nigga, you do as up. You do it. Hey, I'm about to hold you. World Star was funny. The World Star era is funny as fuck. I ain't gonna cap, nigga. Now, it literally showed the worst of the community. I'm not even gonna hold you. But the World Star era was literally fun as hell. And a lot of music just got on through World Star. Known as World Star Hip Hop is a social media company who became big for posting. And now they just promote like porn or something, I think. Like memes, posting music on their channel, and fight videos. Lots and lots, lots of, fight, of videos. fight videos. There was a time where any you time any top, y'all don't remember the top 10 fights of the week. This is the top, <laughs> the top, I mean the top five, it was top five I think. It was top five fights of the week. Like they would have one every single week from different schools, different areas, all that. Minuscule fight happened on some random butt nowhere street corner. Someone was pulling out their phone yelling, <gasps> World star! <laughs> and everyone yeah. from every conceivable nation would run down to see if a fight was actually happening. That's how much it was linked to fighting. It was kind of like the more tame version of Live Week. I just mainly didn't like yeah. this era because it started the stereotype of black people fighting all the time. It was like yeah, they were allergic yeah. posting any other skin color getting into an altercation. The setting was always the most hood, the most yeah. ghetto, the most yeah. run down area That's in the fact. slums. This gave racist ammunition and they still use it to this day. I'm not lying. Go ahead and look at any Twitter account that posts fights on the daily, look at a video of black people fighting, then look at a video of any other race fighting, and come back to tell me which comment section is worse. It'll be bursting what comments like. <laughs> and these are the people who get to have rights. Typical. Typical. What else do we expect from them? Huh. But black lives matter though, right? I am full fledged putting the blame on Worldstar for this effect. Next nah, that's a fact. Worldstar definitely did ruin like a lot, like almost all of this shit. An era that bring out the most garbage people that platform has ever seen. The vlogging era. Mm. YouTube vlogging has always been a thing since the dawn of the platform. But let's be real, 2012 to 2019 was the peak of YouTube vlogging. It was a time where people would be posting videos daily of them doing things. Hmm, I wonder what type of disaster this could lead to recording every action done throughout the day and posting it online now at the start it wasn't too bad in my opinion you had gems like casey neistat or roman atwood vlogs which i don't me personally now one thing i can say is i never ever watched vlogs like yeah maybe, maybe if it was like to me. maybe i watched like a, a solo minati vlog if he did one like i if i watched a vlog it was a youtuber who never did vlog and maybe he just went somewhere and i watched that one vlog but i was never like a vlog type of person yeah, the that's my only enter well. the clubhouse <laughs> and they leveled this bitch to the ground i remember when jake paul was actively recording the team 10 household and it was just disaster after disaster Bro, so they function together so, so bad that there's a one. video going over their worst moments with 24 million of views he was genuinely genuinely just an asshole who showed it on camera and got famous and it was the same thing with logan the cloud house yeah. and a lot of these vloggers i don't know what type of ego they had in their minds but it was pumping in their brains hard we can't forget either that this era caused one of the most controversial oh YouTube. My i was just about God. to say this nigga you know bro took vlogging way too serious bro recorded a whole dead body in another country and i'm not gonna lie logan and jake paul probably the most obnoxious people on the internet at this time bro yeah. like every other week they be in some shit like it's actually insane 
YouTube scandals that has every time you see this face, you already know, nigga. If you see the face with no context, you already know what's going on. I'm not going to yeah. like you already know what that means. And been topped. Ain't no one ever make a comeback like Logan Paul. At the as time vlogging was blowing up, also, it was becoming more and more easier to use your phone as a piece of equipment. So kids were trying to be like their favorite YouTube vlogger, Jake Paul, and recording videos to hopefully become yeah. famous one day. That's why I blame this era for kids wanting to be YouTubers when they grow up. Like, bro, I was thinking astronaut or doctor, and you choose vlogging? And I know that sounds hypocritical. I'm not gonna lie, that literally does sound hypocritical, but go out there. Well, coming from me, but at least when I was younger, I wanted to be an astronaut and I failed, so f you. Next is an error that he ain't failed. Dude, just Tommy, like me for real. Tommy, let's let's go be astronauts, bro. Let's go be astronauts. We can still do it. I definitely wanted to be an aerospace engineer. engineer. Saw the math. Hell no. Tommy, we can still be astronauts. And now I'm still doing fucking math. It's just different math. It's just on the computer. It's tough. It's damn near the same space? thing. Me and Tommy, astronaut stream, in real life astronaut stream coming in 2075. Streaming on Mars. Streaming gone on Mars. wrong gone in the Mars hood. Gone sexual in on Mars. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean gone sexual just on Mars? Just be with me. Hey, you're fucking done. Made many rich and a lot more poor. NFT slash crypto era. Mm, Tommy's favorite era. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you. The NFT era was actually fucking horrible. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I'm niggas would try. You bought into this, you're cooked today. Niggas try to convince you that you needed to buy NFTs, my nigga. Even the financial niggas. You remember one financial nigga came to the school and he was like, oh, NFTs, nigga, um, I'm not gonna hold you. I can't tell you to go do that shit right now. Like, he was basically, like, one of the niggas was basically like, I can't. One of the niggas was trying to get niggas to do it, but another nigga, nigga was like, yo, I can't tell you to do this shit right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you do that shit, that's on you right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, I'm not gonna lie, this was by far worse than forex literally you know this was worse than forex i'm not gonna hold you nigga literally um just drawings bro quite literally just drawings nigga swore i was about to go to the moon you see jake paul's drink that he spent like a, a mil or, or a couple racks on nigga like 100 uh k plus is worth like 10 dollars now my nigga that's crazy that's insane i ain't going bad investment there was a certain time yeah, not too yeah. long ago where crypto and NFTs were on the rise. First, it was crypto with every coin. And then crypto just, I don't know, everything in crypto just crashed, nigga. Crypto. crypto just crashed. Crypto was good for crypto, years and it just crashed yeah, badly, crypto nigga. was good for like a long time. It was actually looking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you should maybe do this, you know what I'm saying? Now that shit's fucked. I, think Bitcoin, I don't know I, what the hell happened. I think Ethereum and Bitcoin are still up, but everything else is like fucked. Like a hundred, a thousand oh, yeah. million percent. Everything else is literally, you cannot both, invest into everything else, my nigga. Both Ethereum and Bitcoin were fucked for a little while, yeah, like, and, but now they're good yeah, now. Yeah, I think, I think they're back up now. it's still not as but good as everything it was. else, Dogecoin, that shit was not to the moon. Y'all yeah, remember what everybody dope. was saying? Dogecoin to the moon. That's why you don't do that shit, nigga. If everybody knows about it, it's already cooked, my nigga. Like, y'all not eating good. That shit was literally done. NFT ruined crypto. Going out of nowhere, 10xing, giving the worst type of people out there money. Then it was NFTs that followed after, which gave enough. I made a little bag off Doge. If you you could make a little bag off Doge if you but bought it, it and immediately got the fuck get out, out. You had to get the fuck you out. You are cooked. Yeah. Like that whole Doge shit for two weeks, nigga. You probably had like a couple days max to get out, nigga. If you spent like a month and you didn't get out, you was cooked. Like I'm not gonna hold you, nigga. Even me, I gave my brother a hundred dollars to put into those. I don't know what happened to this day with that hundred dollars. My call cap to you, nigga. Like, I guarantee I ain't seen that shit though. I guarantee it. Other group of four. It's all good. He's flipping it right now. It's in the process. He's not it's coming back. It. It's coming back. He's now AMC to the moon. I invested in AMC too. After the fact, like the day after that AMC uh went to the moon, and it never went to the moon ever again. Oh my nigga, <laughs> that shit is. I have not seen gutter. AMC up in. A fucking minute. If y'all can't see, it says 2.65, bro. That shit is in the gut. AMC <laughs> is down fucking horrible. It was happening, but it was working. People were actually betting their life savings on Dogecoin, praying that it would take them out of poverty. Taking Elon Musk's word as gospel on any time he mentioned it. Then celebrities and influencers would be taking any bag from these crypto places to pass out the garbage. <laughs> Unlike now that we know they're a scam, people didn't back then when it was new, when people got their entire lives ruined. What truly confirmed was the whole BBG scam point? aspect to it yeah. from influencers was save the kids. Faze is still in a downfall mm, from this. it, but I honestly, you know, I have hope in Faze stock. It was Save the kids. Faze is still in a downfall. Yeah. Me, but I, honestly, you know. Nigga, oh, Faze has literally one of the worst stocks I've ever seen in my life, bro. Fuck. 
FaZe has literally one of the worst stocks I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even going to cap to you. I have hope in FaZe stock. It was the same thing for NFT. Look at your streams on there. I can't look at it. Let me know what He's it is. Up. I saw a lot more mainstream celebs trying to promote it. For some reason, a lot of celebrities love the board Ape, which I can't help but to feel happy about. No matter how much richer they are than you were. Tap in. New method. Right now, you got to buy during the dip for FaZe stock. You know what I'm saying? Trust. Two years, you know what I'm saying? The drink will be up here. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You don't tap in right now. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. Oh, wacky for real? We'll be fine. We'll be God fine. buy during the dip. More famous than you. I, at least you didn't buy a board for $500,000 dollars. Them bitches are worth a solid two tin cans and a butt f now. I used to think celebrities were smart when I was younger, and this time period just proved to me how much I was lied to as a child. There were also hundreds of influencers and celebrities coming out with their own NFT projects. Yeah, I've never seen one of these succeed for the people that bought them, so... But I feel like NFTs were more obviously stupid to the public because you're just buying a picture that anyone can screenshot. Even the dumbest of the public questioned the validity of that, saying, yo, this is kind of dumb. But crypto coins, though, people definitely fell for it more because it seemed like an actual investment, and that's just kind of sad to think about. And this last era I'm going to talk about is one we're actually still in right now. The Matrix era. Oh, now, I know I've made a whole video on this. This is this, this, what you be wrong when you believe in the Matrix. I speak! I knew it! You were so Illuminati, nigga. I mean, the only thing I really agree with is humans have common nature and that you should get in the gym. What I believe That's really is it. that people go missing every year. And then at the same time, an influx of Popeye's chicken sandwiches appear. What, what happens to the people? Why are there so many Popeye's chicken sandwiches? Oh my fucking god. Yo, what is Solo Gnati doing right now, bro? That shit will never not be funny if Baco holds you because he really he really believes that. He's dead ass serious. Oh my god. I love chicken. Good for you, man. This and I've talked about this before. I know we're technically still in this era, but I can already see this being certified as horrible for the future generations to come. Andrew Tate truly changed the landscape online for good. It's so weird no, because he he's so did. ingrained into social media as of now that I don't even remember a time when people weren't talking about it. The time period I'm talking about though was when that month and like that two, three months before he got like banned off everything, nigga, was literally yeah, even. You you couldn't get away from him, like even on Instagram. Like it didn't matter what platform you was on. You it didn't matter, him, bro. I don't even know how like that was possible. But you literally, everybody was reposting him, bro. So you literally couldn't and then get away. Same thing happened with Sneeko. Yes, it was happening. Sneeko get away from for a him. while, and then Sneeko got banned, and then you know Charlie ethered his shit. But you know. When he was blowing up and his clips were absolutely everywhere. You can't even lie, there was a certain point where you couldn't ignore Andrew Tate. You had his long john silver schlong a dick riders in his comments always saying the same thing. If it was a clip of him on TikTok, it was a comment like What color is your W? What color is your boot body? Bugatti. Scooter. Bugatti scooters. Bugatti watches. Well, someone disagreeing with Tate, it was the comment. What color is your Bugatti though? Now that the dick riding like that is stopped, I'm at the point where I think we weren't even real human beings. I think there were bots that were programmed with those two lines, and that was it. I truly hated Andrew Tate's dick riders more than him a lot of times. It's not like the evidence is erased either. I guarantee if you go to any old TikTok from when he was was blowing up you'll see comments like that and then you had people like sneeko pop up who were an exact representation of what happens when you take the tape off i don't think anyone who was watching sneeko would have guessed the route he would take for content in the when he was, i didn't know sneeko i i heard he was doing content for a long time but i've never seen him until oh, he started yeah. like doing the 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 red pill shit i, I i've never i've never heard the sneeko. crazy thing is i look back at some of his old content like he made some pretty quality videos before that he just had this yeah. cam. That's tough. Next year. He's also that pure example of why I call this the Matrix era. Any nanoscopic type of problem that happened was the Matrix's fault to him. It was only until Moist Critical actually had a decent conversation with him that I think he realized, huh. 
Yeah, maybe maybe some of this shit just just isn't the Matrix. I said it was an hour interview. Person yet. would have been obvious as hell. Yeah, the lingo is also carried on to regular folks, and you got teens in high school saying, "Of course, the Matrix is after me." <laughs> and take this spin facts. You're just mad. actually, buddy. You work at Walgreens as a cash register. The Matrix is not out to get you. It also brings this new epidemic of alpha males trying to copy Andrew Tate's strat. I fully think we should just f around and have a prohibition like they did in the 30s on podcasts for a while, but that's just me. Whenever I see these alpha male clips it's so mission like they did in the 30s on podcast no fucking way <laughs> i didn't even peep that <laughs> for a while, but that's just me. Whenever I see these alpha male clips, it's so obvious to me that they're trying to bait shit, and I would think regular human beings would be able to tell, but we're in 2023, and that's basically gone, so young Yo, men just go dick riding from alpha podcast to alpha podcast to alpha podcast, absorbing any type of talk against the Matrix, and more to make them feel like Tate. The dark reality gonna hit them like a semi-truck when they realize in 10 years, none yeah. of the courses work. So overall, these are the worst internet eras I've got, which I think either aren't missed or or won't be missed. I don't think future civilizations will recover on our remnants and want to study TikTok stars. It's crazy because I give it uh, two years, there's gonna be three more worse uh, errors than that. Trust. Or poor ape Stop pausing. Keys. You guys can let me know if I missed any errors because there's so many errors online that they all How the cannot fuck are you doing that? Follow me. Can let me know if I missed any errors because there's so many errors online that they all cannot be tracked. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. Fuck. <laughs> hey, good video, Toby. Good video, Toby. You know what I'm saying? Um, nah, there were some bad errors. I think out of all of them, bro, the worst one might have been. Okay. Yeah, the Instagram era. It's, just, it's still that one is literally yeah. probably the, still the worst. I, like, he was literally just Steven and Kanaf. Literally just illegal crimes and fucking cloud chasing to its maximum. Not gonna lose you, but good yeah. video from Tommy. Uh, BBG plug. Don't touch that. I need those. Um, you watch this on YouTube, Twitch, Blue Rye in the description. Uh, I BBG. Alright. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey.